What up dogs, Team here and to the face, to the face. So today I have uh, probably the sickest gameplay I've had on Black Ops 3 so far. It even uh, beats the 100 kills ones because this is 90 kills. Of course it is on Nuketown because that's, that's probably one of the only space spots where you can get like 90 kills with the sniper rifle against red gunners. I, I'm pretty pleased with this gameplay. It's fucking insane, uh, like the second half. Which uh, is a pretty long uh, commentary, so I will. I'm gonna try to muster up uh, the like the commentary um, focus to keep you guys like really entertained. Look at that! Oh, it could have been a, such a sick quad feed. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, and I wanted to dedicate this uh, this commentary on. I also killed the car with a shot there uh, to talk about the past year. What's uh, what's pretty much been going on and what what stuff has happened so far it's been uh, the year has been really really good i uh i think some of the most in like the probably the the most important part is uh that i met my girlfriend i met her uh in january uh on the 17th so yeah it's almost it's becoming a year and then she had moved out moved in uh, i was saying and and life has just been going really good on on that part i think um obviously the the apartment that we're staying in now is probably not the biggest one but i don't really like in the beginning i i think i was kind of thinking about it a little too much i was like oh what if she doesn't like me playing but and, and all that stuff but now it's kind of like you own not only do i play video games and uh that is what's paying uh the rent pretty much um i also enjoy playing video games so it's it's kind of been fine on that part uh it's been it's really interesting to see like an app called time hop as well because if you have time hop you see what a fucking idiot you are uh i i'm like surprised that people actually use to like now i'm really happy people follow me on social media but before i was a fucking idiot i didn't know anything about what you know what you should post on instagram or on twitter or on facebook i see posts from like five years ago on twitter and i go damn i'm drunk or like just idiotic things, which is probably one of the reasons like people obviously started following me, but it's also like super cringeworthy. It's kind of like when you watch, I mean, I, I when I watched To The Face, I was like, it was super cool when it came out. Now when I watch it, I kind of just like, uh, I, can't, well, I, you know, I can't really watch it. Uh, I, I, I totally appreciate that it was, you know, such a success. And if I would make another video, I would not be standing in a room like, you know, fist pumping and, and partying. Uh, it would be like tapes 2.0, which I think I have started to become even more this year. I feel like I'm just like more, I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable in myself. Uh, I have goals, uh, which is, I think, a really important thing for me. Uh, before my goals used to be, uh, like make it through the day, like make it through the day because I've been, uh, I had Crohn's and it's not been very good for a very long time, especially when I've been making YouTube videos and, and trying to entertain. Um, and now, obviously I, right now I'm actually having like a, a sort of a little flare up, but it's not even that as bad. Cause I, the first thing I do when I my stomach is starting to I have Crohn's if you don't know uh, that's an inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, the first thing that I do when I like start feeling something is this, that I call the hospital and I don't ignore it or try to fix it myself because and I I try not to feel bad because uh, that's the thing that I did a lot way back is like because I you have a chronical. Uh, disease that you can't cure like you can't help that you uh, get a flare-up again um, which is probably like it's a really important thing which is still like really it's it's really battling me when I'm trying to just like it's not my fault it's not my fault um, so that's really cool and I think like the deep stuff it's probably just that i'm, I'm at victoria and uh i uh i started you know 
feeling just more comfortable in myself and my stomach has been doing so good lately that I don't really think about it that much. But one of the most like really uh, like exciting things is just that my dedication for uh, making YouTube videos and uh, as well streaming has just gone up. I think and my interest for everything that has to do about gaming has just gone up. I think uh it's it's a part about me taking stuff very much for granted just like old video games are always gonna be there but uh it's because i've been doing it for so long i kind of it it kind of been an eye opener again to be like hey i can make this video i can i can make uh this long ass commentary i can make this little funny csgo uh compilation montage and and you i feel super good about myself when i've done something like that um so I, I think I think my like an interest for for esports has, has grown uh like a crazy amount. I don't know if you guys have been watching uh any uh Counter Strike. I, I really don't watch I'll be honest, I really don't watch Call of Duty. I don't watch Call of Duty videos anymore either. Um but I can I can see my I watched uh like uh the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tournament and I was like that's pretty fucking cool like they're still they still got it they still know how to like produce and like Treyarch is the best Call of Duty uh developers out there uh so, and I, I think that's really good but like I watched Counter-Strike that's literally and Hearthstone I also watched from Hearthstone because I think that or Hearthstone I think that game is like really fun to watch on uh esport and I play it myself I some people think that I'm like an absolute Hearthstone scrub I mean I made it up to rank four Someday in the future, I'm gonna get reach legend. I have like 3,000 victories on ranked and like 1,500 on arena, which a lot of them came from like me being at the hospital and having Crohn's, which is kind of like why I probably because that's when I started feeling better. That's like one of the reasons why I have such a positive like perspective on Hearthstone. And me and my friend were like buying packs when I was uh, at the hospital and doing that. Um, so yeah, the um, the next year, I'm I'm also interested to hear what you guys are thinking and uh, you're thinking about like dedication on the oh what I could have been so sick, dedication on the YouTube channel and everything. And obviously, I know that there's a lot of inactive subs, which I'm trying to get back. But um, if you guys do like what you see and what you like, I provide for you. It's always nice to get your support with like a like or a share or you know the schoolyard talk and be like, hey, tapes, or like the, the water cooler talk, which is like adult one version of that. You'd be like, hey, tapes is fucking awesome. You like you haven't watched him in a while. Like that's that's pretty much what I'm trying to to like get back to. Like if you if you enjoy it, please mention it to your pal over the water cooler because that happens. Sure, sure, man. Uh, so yeah, this is really cool. Like, video gaming is such a badass thing, and I, I got a new computer, which is a beast. This is this gameplay is not recording on that computer because the game uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Three is still fucking not optimized for like PC. How do, I don't understand how they fuck it up like this bad. And look at this feed. Oh, you may have seen this is in my in my montage. I think there's a guy just like he chases me instead of going fucking like. Uh, Instead of just going around, he follows me the entire map around. He shoots me in the back. Yeah. And I think also one thing that's really cool is when, like, old viewers tune in and be like, hey, man, dude, you're, like, your accent sound. I was like, all pro, by the way. Uh, your accent sounds so much more American. I was like, I can't help it. It's uh, been years of practice now. And sure, I can talk like this and, uh, like, say ninja and stuff. But that's not how I sound anymore. Um... I'm not trying to be like a douchebag and sound like like American or anything. It just happened. It just happened. Uh, hearing stuff enough, you will learn how to say it, basically. Uh, so the only, like, kills I get... I think I've had, like, two lightning strikes or something in this game. All of the rest ones are sniper frags, I think. I think I might get one more. But that's, like... Uh... That makes me puts like a smile on my face uh, about this game. I hope there comes some new stuff for it because uh, I haven't really played it in a while now. I'm just like super into CS because I'm playing really, really uh, well at the moment on that game. So, but I, I'm hoping. Yes, I have a, an actual point with this video. Is that I'm hoping that the next year is just gonna be even more awesome. 
if you are a gamer. Oh yeah, I have a, a fire starter, uh, which is insane. But it is so fun. I don't care that it's OP as hell. Um, but the next year for me, I'm hoping that it's going to be really good. Like my, uh, me and my girlfriend are going to hopefully maybe find somewhere bigger. And I would love to have like a, a little room where I can play video games uh, in the future, which is, might not happen. But I have like, I have my real csgo karambits on a shelf which i would love to have so like in the stream in the background uh, i have like a zelda sword that's 3d printed that i would love to have in the background i have like a little dragon uh i would like just to have like a streaming area where i can put on a shelf behind because i don't want a green screen i think the green screen actually looks kind of tacky but that you might not agree with that but if i if i was uh making videos and, and the stream and stuff i was just like i have a shelf with just stuff that i could change out like could have my little destiny dude with the voice um like peter dinklage i think i still have that um somewhere i have like a bunch of stuff that i would like to put up so uh yeah, that would be really cool, but it's a, it's a long way to go, and like, Stockholm apartment prices are stupid, I miss the north of Sweden, I want to go home, I want to go home, guys, so, yeah, that sounded super sad, but I do really miss, like, the north of Sweden, uh, in that sense, um, but yeah, anyway, there's a bunch of, like, new ideas coming up on the YouTube channel, uh, I have, like, the tapes talk thingy, so I'm just trying to get a hold of, uh, people that want to be a guest, and everyone is saying yes, but everyone is, like, busy, which is, like, the, th the thing with the life, and I'm, you know, I'm playing with Nanners and all his friends and stuff, which I think is really cool, and then the Counter-Strike, uh, Road to Global highlights, and possibly also the tapes top five plays again, which I think is going to be super cool. And of course, all the streams, uh, which uh, I feel is is one of the more fun things that I do. It's just very time consuming because if you play for three hours and you stream for three hours, you're like sitting in front of your computer for like three or four hours straight and you can't leave. You can never leave. If you're just playing, you can do it after half an hour. You can go eat, you can play a little more. You can play like two hours, you can play two games. Um, which I think some people that are not streaming, they kind of forget about it. I remember when I started streaming, I seen like Twitter posts from like on time up from three years ago, three years ago. I was like, I'm going to stream for an hour. All right. Thanks for watching guys. And I was like, no wonder people said I should stream more. Cause I fucking barely started it. Like I'm an, I was an idiot. Uh, so yeah, the gameplay is wrapping up. I get 90 kills with the locust, uh, thermal scope. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, long ass commentary and drop a like and share whatever you fuck you want to do to support the tape station, the tape channel. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.